Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in this lecture of type study of rat, house rat, ratus ratus, today I will discuss arterial system of rat. Dear students, BSc students, please note down in this lecture I will clear arterial system of rat. Dear students, this entire system is divided into two parts. One is pulmonary system, second is systemic body or aortic system. In pulmonary system, a large blood vessel that is pulmonary arc and this pulmonary arc which arises from the right ventricle to carry the deoxygenated blood to lungs through a pair of arteries. These are pulmonary arteries. One is right, second is left pulmonary arteries. Dear students, first part of arterial system that is pulmonary system. In this system, deoxygenated blood from this right ventricle is carried via this large blood vessel. It is pulmonary arc and this pulmonary arc bifurcates into two branches. One is right and left pulmonary arteries to carry the deoxygenated blood of heart to lungs for oxygenation. Its second part is that is aortic system that is systemic system or dear students it is body system. In this system oxygenated blood from this left ventricle is carried via this large blood vessel it is aortic arc or it is systemic arc. It carries oxygenated blood from this left ventricle to all body parts. Dear students, this systemic arc or aortic arc, it gives several branches. First of all, from this basal part of heart, it gives a pair of coronary arteries. Dear students, this systemic or it is aortic arc, it gives a pair of coronary arteries near the basal part of heart. These coronary arteries, these are right and left coronary arteries which carry oxygenated blood to heart wall. Next branches and this blood vessel in this right side, it is innominate artery. Dear students, this innominate artery, it carries oxygenated blood to head region through this common carotid artery. In this forelimb by subclavian artery, in the neck region through the cervical artery and in the left right side of mammary glands through a mammary artery. Now down this aortic arc, it gives a pair of coronary arteries to heart wall. Then in this right side, this blood vessel, it is innominate artery and this innominate artery, it supplies oxygenated blood to head region, to neck region, to four limbs and the right side of mammary glands. It means this innominate artery it divides into a common carotid and this right common carotid it carries oxygenated blood to head region. It further divides into right internal and right external carotid arteries to carry the oxygenated blood to right internal parts via this internal carotid and the external part of head region via external carotid arteries. In cervical region, in neck region, this right cervical artery, it carries oxygenated blood. This subclavian artery and this subclavian artery, it carries oxygenated blood to right forelimb as well as 
राइट साइड ऑफ मेमरी ग्लैंड वाया दिस राइट सब क्लिविन आर्टरी इट फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू लेफ्ट रेडियल आर्टरी एंड लेफ्ट आलनर आर्टरी इट मीन्स इट कैरिज ब्लड टू दिस रेडियल बॉन अलना बॉन ऑफ फॉर लिप्स एंड दिस राइट मेमरी आर्टरी इट कैरिज ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड टू राइट साइड ऑफ मेमरी ग्लैंड इन दिस लेफ्ट साइड दिस ओल्टिक और सिस्टमिक आर्क इट गिवस वन लेफ्ट कॉमन कैरोटेड आर्टरी एंड दिस लेफ्ट कॉमन कैरोटेड आर्टरी विच कैरीज ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड टू हेड रीजन इट फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू internal carotid and external carotid to carry both sides internal and external parts of head region then this left subclavian artery and this left subclavian artery it carries blood to left side of forelimb and this left mammary artery it carries oxygenated blood to left side of mammary glands then this aortic arc it descends and it becomes a dorsal aorta and this dorsal aorta in which direction of blood flow that is always in backward direction in this dorsal aorta several blood vessels first of all in the thoracic region several pairs of intercostal arteries which carry blood oxygenated blood to thoracic region the ribs then a pair of phrenic arteries no down this dorsal blood vessel it gives in this thoracic region is several pairs of intercostal arteries to thoracic region plus ribs then the partition between this abdomen and thoracic region that is diaphragm and the diaphragm it receives oxygenated blood via a pair of phrenic arteries then in abdominal region this large blood vessel and this large blood vessel is celiac artery and this celiac artery is divided into three main branches one is hepatic artery to liver then the gastric artery it carries blood to stomach and this splenic or renal artery to spleen and pancreas dear students next blood vessel is from this dorsal aorta it is anterior mesenteric artery and this anterior mesenteric artery it carries oxygenated blood to digestive tract small intestine and large intestine then a pair of renal arteries right and left renal arteries which carry oxygenated oxygenated blood to kidneys then a pair of genital artery as name indicate the genital arteries we supply oxygenated blood to gonads genital organs sacs organs and reproductive tract then a pair of ileo lumbar arteries dear students in this lower part of abdomen these a pair of ileo lumbar arteries which carry oxygenated blood to abdominal wall then a single large posterior mesenteric artery and this posterior mesenteric artery it carries oxygenated blood to lower parts of digestive tract it means it supplies oxygenated blood to large intestine like colon like rectum then a pair of common iliac arteries and these common iliac arteries in the lower part of in the posterior region of this dorsal aorta it carries blood to hind limbs dear students as well as in pelvic region and these common iliac arteries 
which further divided into internal iliac and external iliac. This internal iliac artery, it carries blood to pelvic region. And this external iliac, which further gives vesico-uterine blood vessel. And this vesico-uterine blood vessel, it supplies oxygenated blood to vesicle, means urinary bladder. And the uterine means it gives supply to uterus. Then this external iliac artery, it carries oxygenated blood to lower parts of hind limb. It supplies blood to femur, tibia and lower parts. And this single caudal artery, it carries blood to tail region, sacrum. This is all about arterial system of rat. Dear students, this entire system is divided into two parts. One is pulmonary system. In that system, this blood vessel, pulmonary aorta, pulmonary arc, which carries deoxygenated blood from this right ventricle to lungs through a pair of pulmonary arteries. And in this entire body system, it is aortic system, it is systemic system, it is body system. In this, the oxygenated blood from this left ventricle is Splight to all body organs. This is all about arterial system. In next lecture, I will discuss venous system.